How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well out there. I've got this Weber brand hot dog machine here for an unboxing and review. All right, here's everything that came in the box. This thing is looking cool. So it's got the, the hot dog machine itself right here. It's got this piece. I don't know what this does yet, but we're gonna find out. Got some glass here, nice and taped up. Got a little tray there as well underneath it. This tray. And I know all this white stuff's gonna come off because it's all stainless underneath. It's got this little 90 degree angle thing here too. Like I said, the rack, a couple of brushes, some tongs, the power cord, directions. It's got this nice piece of glass here as well. And a bag of parts. It also comes with a, with a fuse. Here's where the fuse goes. Let's see if it has one in there already. Just kind of threads out. So yeah, it's already got the fuse in there. So that fuse that comes with it is an extra fuse. If this thing ever doesn't work, power doesn't turn on. Always check the fuse right there. Here's everything that came in the parts bag. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start removing all the protective white coating they have on here. Yeah, after you uh, removed all the protective film off there, you can, the first step is to take these plastic pieces right here. So we're looking at the front of the machine, and then these pieces like this are gonna go right here. We're gonna screw them in with this. Same thing with this. These are gonna go back here. We're just gonna unscrew this and screw it back in through that hole. So they're gonna go there, and then same thing with this side. Go there there. Okay, by the way these things are slotted here, it tells me you want to leave them a little bit loose until the end. I think there's going to be some adjustment here, so I've left this one a little bit loose. Something's going to slide down in there that's going to take some adjustment and then tightening up this way and then tightening the screw. So I'm going to leave them all a little bit loose. I'm going to drive them in so they stay in place, but leave them loose. Okay, now we take this piece of glass, just like this. It goes right in here. It sits down in there. And that explains a lot because now you can get tighten it up that way and pull it in this way too. And we'll do the same for this piece. There, now we'll go ahead and tighten these screws up a little bit. Okay, you wanna leave these things loose. You actually don't wanna tighten them up all the way. You wanna leave them a little bit loose, and I'll show you why. Because we're gonna take our glass piece here, and we're gonna come in over the top like this. And we're gonna put it down in there, and it's gonna fit right down in here. See, so in order for it to get down in there, you gotta leave these loose. Now you can you can tighten them back up. Um, but you can see that's how that goes. Now it's a good time to go ahead and snug snug these down here. Now the next thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna put this rack in, but in order to do that, it's gotta sit on something. So we're gonna install these four things here, these four fasteners. How that's gonna work is we're gonna, this is what the thing's gonna sit on, and they're gonna sit right in that, there's like a recessed area in this glass, and it's gonna sit right in there, and your screw's gonna come in from the other side. Here's the outside. I just threaded that right in there. Here's the inside. We'll go ahead and tighten that up. Now you just take this rack here and you can set it right on top of there. Now this piece, you gotta remove the plastic film on both sides. I 
first I thought it was kind of a fogged plastic because uh, the other side came off really easy. This side I had to get a little knife just to get it started, but just know that it shouldn't be fogged like that. It'll be nice and clear once we pull this off. That is where the screw is going to insert into it. Then we'll go ahead and set that aside for a second. We're going to take this piece here and pull all the white film off of it. Okay, now we take this piece and just set it on there like that. So this is kind of angled out this way. That way those holes line up there. And they line up right there. And we'll attach that, that thing to here in a minute. But first we want to go ahead and fasten this down. Okay, the next step is to install these screws right here. We're going to install them with this and this, but I just wanted to show you. Just take your screw and knock that center out. They're made to come out so it looks like this. You want this one, you want this one to look like that. And these are going to be on the inside right in here. I'll show this you. one. Slide it in there. Rubber grommet there. And slide it in over the top like this. and fasten it down. That way, when you're done, it looks like that. Now we're going to go ahead and install this piece, and that's going to hook in right here. So we'll go ahead and back these out. See how that works? Let's just go right in there. Remember those holes I showed you? That just goes right in there. So we'll tighten these up. That way this thing can swing open. Can come all the way up like that all the way down. Snug these down. And the next step is to get all the white stuff off this tray here. This is kind of like your grease trap. This is going to catch all your drippings. And then this thing just slides right in here like that. And you know your hot dogs roll around, stuff drips off. You can take this, go dump it, clean it out, slide it right back in. All right, we got it all put together. Let's go cook some dogs. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. Turn that on. Let it warm up for a little bit. 400 for right now. It's got the heat light, so you got the, the front and the back there. See those rollers turning too. Check it out. Let's go get some hot dogs and corn dogs. Oh, this is so cool. So I knocked the temperature down a little bit. The other thing I did was I put a little bit of butter on these rollers because there's heating elements that go through there. And uh, some of the stuff, you know, if you heat it up and then put it on there, it'll stick to it. So it's good to either put a little, you know, light coat of oil or, or some butter on there, especially if you're doing breaded stuff like these corn dogs. Hot dogs would probably be all right, but still a good idea. Here's a look from the other side. couple buns up there too. You can adjust your your temperatures down here to suit your needs. I'm just cooking these things kind of slow right now. Actually I knocked it down to, to 300 for both. So kind of give them a little more cooking time. butter I was talking about too you can brush it on with these brushes that come with it I'm about to use these uh, nice tongs that came with it as well nice toasted bun there these buns are perfect too 